Hello, Money and Banking students. We are now in week seven. We only have about 14 days left, so we're quickly wrapping up the course. So everyone's doing a great job with the forum discussion post. I learned a lot from you, so just continue with that. This week in week seven, uh, in addition to your forum discussion post, you're also going to have your final writing assignment where I've asked you to look at the bank that you used in your previous assignment. Now you're going to look at some of the ratio analysis. So go back through and look in our course and the details of the assignment. And uh, you can find a lot of the information from Yahoo Finance, but really just kind of asking, you know, how is the bank doing? How, how is it, its performance? In fact, some of your readings this week, it's going to talk about uh, ratios. Uh, this kind of applies back to previous chapters where they talked to ratios, but they bring ratios back up again. But again, if you were to give an overview of this bank, you know, from profitability, how is it managing things, its returns, uh, all those kind of key ratios that analysts look at in order to determine whether, you know, say I was going to even extend credit to that bank. You know, that's kind of a question as banks do that to individuals and something you'll be reading about and looking at this week. So uh, with the chapter material, your first chapter in the readings, it lists out all the different risks that are out there. In fact, on like page 570 of your textbook, it lists 10 of the major risks out there that a financial institution needs to consider. And then the next two chapters look at credit and liquidity. So that's kind of the focus. And in following weeks, you'll look at some more of those additional risks. But, you know, just speaking of credit risks, you think that uh, banks face exposure when they lend money. Uh, they're concerned about uh, those five C's that the textbook talked about when it talked about, you know, the, the character, um, the capacity, the conditions, the collateral, the capital, you know, taking all these things into consideration. And they can use various things like um, a scoring system or a lot of uh, institutions use what we call FICO score or Fair Isaac. Your credit score can range anywhere from like in the 500 range to 850 range. And obviously the better your score, the higher the score, usually that's a barometer to what your cost of borrowing will be. So the higher the score, the lower interest rate that you'll be charged. So uh, obviously, you know, banks serve that role, financial institutions serve that role. So they're going out there and assessing the situation and determining, you know, how much of their portfolio can I put at this risk? You know, when I was in the banking industry on the kind of a bank to bank, I would want to make certain trades, but my credit department would tell me that, no, you've exceeded the credit limits. So we would only allow so much exposure at each institution just in case something would happen. So we didn't want to have too much of our portfolio tied up with one particular bank if we lent them money. So on the liquidity side, you know, obviously banks face the situation where they have very short-term liabilities and that your deposits can be withdrawn at any moment. And they usually have long-term assets. Now, some banks do try to match those, but oftentimes, you know, there's profitability in taking in deposits, which pay close to nothing and turn around and making loans on that. So if uh, depositors do request their funds, uh, there's basically three ways they can uh, raise that money to meet that. If they have uh, cash available on hand, they can use that and reduce that. They can go out and borrow in money markets. Or in the worst case, if they have to go tap their loans, they, they can liquidate some of those loans. But that can be costly due because um, someone willing to buy them they're taking a risk too, so they're not going to be able to necessarily always sell them at a fair market value price and there's transaction cost involved. So you're going to learn a lot about how bank managers uh, look at these risks and manage these risks this week. And uh, again, you know, try to pick uh, something somewhat related to these topics uh, when you're putting your forum discussion post this week. So uh, that's it for this week. So uh, look forward to talking to you online. If you do have any questions, just do send me an email in uh, our course and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Have a great week.